Moving on to Section 4, we now come to the topic of pet reconstruction. As soon as all the CT data are processed, and the first PET bed position data are required and submitted to the processing queue, PET data reconstruction automatically begins. As each consecutive bed position finishes acquiring, the data are automatically processed while the next bed position begins its own acquisition process. As the PET exam ends and the patient is removed from the gantry, the last bed position data are processed. Most systems allow PET data to be reconstructed using attenuation correction or simultaneous non-attenuation correction if desired. In most cases, the entire PET-CT study is completely processed minutes after the exam ends. As a result, technologists benefit from the automatic data processing, which alleviates additional burden to their workflow. The quick turnaround time from scanning, processing, and image review improves overall clinical efficiency for the patient, the attending physician, the radiologist, or the nuclear medicine physician. The CT transmission data are used for attenuation and scatter correction of the PET emission data. In order for the CT to accurately process attenuation correction, the CT data must be first interpolated into the PET resolution. For the whole body scans, iterative image reconstruction ensures good image quality. The study is reconstructed iteratively, utilizing the entire 128 by 128 matrix, an 8 mm Gaussian filter, and a post reconstruction filter of 5.45 mm. The typical whole body iterative reconstruction parameters are generally as follows. 8 subsets, 2 iterations, foray and AWO SEM algorithm, and 6 mm Gaussian smooth filtering. When everything has been acquired and data from the last bed position have been processed, they can be sent for physician review. If the physician desires sharper or smoother data, most systems allow you to bring up raw data from a specific patient study so you may also adjust the settings and reprocess the images.